What's up guys? Did you think we weren't going to get more Cyrax videos? Well, he's back on Facebook against all advice of counsel and he's pleading to help him, help him end the corruption, help him get out of, out of all his charges scot-free. So let's check it out. I'm making this video to reach out for help. I am currently being set up by a bunch of internet trolls and the Akron Police Department. I need outside help because my public defender is not a good defender at all. Um, I have video evidence that he is refusing to look at. Um, long story short what happened about three and a half weeks ago an internet troll by the name of aware of myself whose real name is joseph lawson came to my house and cited a riot on my property yeah it's it's a lie it's all lies just be prepared for like him to lie about everything he gathered up eight of my neighbors from down the street, brought them here and incited a riot on our property. My family told him to leave several times. He would not leave. But he would not leave at all. Um, so I went out there with a baseball bat and I gave him a fair warning to leave our property or I would swing that bat at him. Because here in Ohio we have what's called castle laws and standard ground laws. And when he would not leave our property, I was exercising those rights. Because he was putting our family in danger at that point in time. He had our neighbors getting in our faces. He was getting in our faces. He was getting in my face. This man literally walked up to our door, knocked on our door and trespassed onto our property. The cops were called frantically to try to get him away from our property. He would not leave. When I swung the baseball bat at this man, to get him off our property, he caught the baseball bat with his hand and stepped onto public property. When the police arrived, they questioned him. They said something to him. Like, asked him what was going on. This man only gave his name, his first and last name, but that's it. This man did not give them any more info. He only gave his first and last man. This man showed up to my house with his whole face covered. Like he was wearing like almost like what you would call like almost like a Taliban mask or a ninja mask of some sort. So yeah, like I said, just a bunch of lying and trying to rewrite what actually happened, hoping he can just convince people that what he thinks happened happened, and that maybe he'll get out of it if he can just fucking lie enough. This man, prior to him showing up, made threats about coming here to my family and doing harm to me. This is the same man that a few months prior shot a bullet through my window and tried to kill me while I was on a live stream. First off, no that fucking didn't happen. Stop lying, it never happened. Secondly, you blamed Marty on that for fucking so long, now it's this aware of myself guy. I think you just want to say everyone is always trying to hurt you because you're a delusional little fucking idiot. The police came out here next day and did not do anything about it after I was shot at. They refused to take the bullet out, and they refused to do anything about it. A couple months later, I was assaulted by a man by the name of Nicholas Spiegler, aka Music Biz Marty, on YouTube. And they still did nothing about it. Yeah, because you attacked Marty that time. Just like you attacked Aware Myself. 
because you can't stop yourself from acting like an idiot and attacking people and then when it goes badly for you, you cry and whine and wonder why it went badly and that you're in trouble. My nose was busted from here down to where I, it wasn't broken, but like it was bloodied up. I had a large cut right here and my nose was just gushing blood for hours. Because Marty broke your fucking nose. They still did nothing. And they did the same thing with this man. After this man harassed my family, I tried to show the cops, I, I tried to show the police that this man was making evidence when, you know, he had evidence that he, well, not him, but I had evidence that he was planning on showing up here to do harm to me and my family. They arrested me and hauled me off to jail and refused to see the evidence that I had. They refused to see the evidence that I had. I got arrested and charged with simple assault. And as a result, I had to go to court yesterday. And I found out that if convicted, I could be facing up to 180 days in jail. Yeah, did you just find that out? Because people have been telling you that since it happened. You're a fucking idiot if you're just now realizing that hitting someone with a bat means you might go to jail, you fucking moron. Because of this man. The police here are very corrupt. They really are. And I need anyone's help that can please step up and help me put a stop to this corruption as I am being set up. The police here labeled me as a 43. They labeled my mom as a 43. Rightfully so, because you're both really, really stupid and fucking insane. Which here means mentally disturbed. Um, the cops here were very quick to arrest me. As they would with several witnesses and video evidence from multiple angles, including the guy who you actually assaulted. And this has been going on for almost five plus years. This is not a joke. This is not a game. This is not me pulling some sort of prank because I supposedly hate cops. No. This is very real. The cops here are corrupt. I have been bullied and cyberbullied for over the last five and a half years. Cyrax, you are 32 years old. You need to stop talking about bullies. You're a grown man who's going to court for assaulting someone with a deadly weapon. Put on your big boy pants and stop whining about bullies. Every time we call the police to ask for help, they don't do anything. They give us the runaround. They give me and my family the runaround of, oh, there's nothing we can do. Stay off the internet. Get off the internet. Get off the internet. Oh, change your phone number, do this, do that, but none of that does any good. These people that have been bullying me and my family and harassing us have stolen stuff from our property. These people have done things such as, like I said, stealing stuff from our property. They tore down our back fencing which the police tried to blame me for. They tried to say that I'm the one that's setting all this up. And if you guys would like to look for yourself, if you guys go to William Glory Hole's YouTube channel and look at the body camera footage. Oh, now suddenly you like the fact that William Glory Hole archives all that shit. You know, you complain about it all the fucking time, but now you want everybody to go look at it, you fucking hypocrite. There is irrefutable evidence showing 
that the police have blatantly made fun of me. The police have blamed me for all this stuff going on. They have basically refused us any form of help at all. They basically refused to stop helping us. And I need anyone's help out there that can please help me put a stop to this corruption. Because I spoke with a very good friend of mine who's a former police officer who said the same thing. That almost over a hundred people that have reached out to me and supporters of mine and fans of my work have said to me that I did not deserve to get arrested. That man came here and harassed my family. Well, you need to work on convincing the court of that because no one on the internet is going to be able to stop what the judge says when they sentence you to jail. When me and my family went down to court today for the pretrial, my public defender blatantly refused to look at the video evidence and the photo evidence of this man on the live stream waving around a semi-automatic rifle gloating about how he was proud of what he did how if he couldn't get me on some fake pedophile shit he was going to get me for assault and my public defender refused to look at the video footage that I have put together over the last three weeks on a USB stick to hand to him. He blatantly told us that he's not going to look at any video evidence but only paper evidence. And that he only wants to focus on the simple assault. He's not worrying about the trolling or the bullying or what started all of it. Yeah, because he's a lawyer. He knows what matters in court. And you're not a lawyer. You have no clue what the fuck matters to this case at all. You just want to talk about bullies that caused you to hit a guy with a bat. You're an idiot. That's why I need help from outside state. I need somebody out there who knows a lawyer who is willing to help me and my family because me and my family, we don't have money. We don't have money like that. We can't afford a lawyer. But my family wants a private attorney that is willing to work with us, that is not fake, that will not screw us over, that is not a fake troll who is willing to work with us to not only put a stop to this case entirely, but to also put a stop to this corruption and what these police are doing. Yeah, it's a simple request. Cyrax just wants a completely free lawyer to come in and not only make this case go away completely, but also take care of his trolls and his bullies just 100% and no one ever bothers him again. And, and again, has to be free. I only have three and a half weeks until my next court date. I need help. My family needs help. This is not, this is not a joke. This is not me saying, oh, look at me and play pity party. No. The police here do not like me because a couple years ago, I called them out for not doing their job. Because they were making fun of me, they were harassing me, they didn't take what I was saying serious. A couple of years ago, dude, you did that like a couple weeks ago, and a couple months ago, and probably dozens of times in the past couple of years. So I'm asking anybody out there who knows somebody that might be a lawyer or somebody that has a friend that's a lawyer or someone of that nature to please contact me some way 
but you guys are more than welcome to contact me on Facebook and if that person does not have Facebook you guys can call my number My family needs help. Please. Someone help me put a stop to this corruption. Please. My family has been through enough. I've been through enough. My family wants this to stop. My public defender does not have my best interests at heart. I need somebody that has my best interest, that is willing to work with me and take a look at all the evidence that I can present to show that the cops are not on my side, they do not care about me, that I have been being cyber bullied, I've had assassination attempts on my life. My family has been stolen from. My family has been blamed for stuff that we had nothing to do with. All of this needs to be put to a stop. So please, if anybody out there knows a lawyer that can help my family pro bono, or at least at a reduced rate to where we can pay for it over time, please, reach out to me my family needs the help and if you guys would like video footage of the police poking fun at me and stuff like that message me privately and I will send you guys the footage I will send you guys the links to where you guys can find the film footage at I will send you the links to the videos and whatnot but I need help. My family needs help. I've been cyberbullied for almost five years and this needs to stop. Please, someone help me. I need help before it's too late. And I end up going to jail for something I don't need to be going to jail for. I was wrongfully arrested. I was wrongfully arrested and I need help. Please. Good job, Cyrax. Plead with the internet instead of actually, you know, following your legal counsel's advice. Just, that's probably not going to work out for you. But thanks for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.